Hello everyone, my name is Zach. I am the Traveling Man and I'm here on board the newly renovated Carnival Pride. This ship was just renovated in May of 2023 and here I am in June of 2023 going to give you a full ship tour from front to back, side to side, top to bottom of this beautiful ship. So come on if you're ready. Let's get this adventure started. So we'll start our tour of the Carnival Pride here in the very forward of the ship on deck one, the lowest public deck here on board the ship and this is the butterflies lounge and the butterflies lounge is smaller than the main theater on board the ship it's a very nice uh, venue this is actually the location of the punchliner comedy club here on the carnival pride so behind those curtains uh, if they were open right now you would see the famous punchliner comedy backdrop but uh, you can see plenty of seating in this lounge there are butterflies on the roof they have all these little lanterns you see at all the different seats and it's a it's a very nice place I enjoy coming to comedy in here every evening of course back in the corner here there is a bar and a bartender when they are having comedy shows and then more butterflies of course this case back here uh, with these little mirrors has butterflies all in it and then you can actually take this stairwell up to deck two which we're gonna do right now you can see more butterflies there hanging out on this chandelier like thing and the butterflies lounge is the only thing i have to feature on deck one that is the only public guest area on deck one the rest of deck one is all guest state room all the way forward on the ship the taj mahal theater this is the main theater on board the ship and i already love it y'all it is like traditional old school carnival theater with these long sections of seats uh, the tables and then the stage oh it's not a huge stage but this is like carnival like a good portion of carnival ships look just like this with their theaters and this ship is probably uh, one of the first the pride the spirit class certainly one of the first that had this set up and look for the theater because you can see this repeated uh, in subsequent carnival ships and welcome to deck two on the carnival pride we're in the very aft of the ship at the elevator bank and stairwell and this is the location of the normandy restaurant the normandy restaurant of course being the main dining venue the main dining room here on board the ship and this is the lower level and i'll talk more about the normandy restaurant when we get to deck three because we will see it again up there but now passing the aft elevators here on deck two we're going to start to make our way toward the front of the ship but first we're going to check out beauty's nightclub which is located on deck two aft and beauty's nightclub is of course the main nightclub here on board the ship and the cool thing about it is it's completely renovated it was renovated extensively during the renovations that the pride underwent just about a month ago and actually there's a new smell in here you can actually smell the new carpet the new flooring the new furniture it's all brand new and so it's made for a very nice venue a very new a very uh, new aesthetic too they've done uh, very well at getting more modern furniture and things like that in here uh, but the cool thing about it is is this used to be a two level club so this would have been deck two and deck three however they converted the space up top on deck three to staterooms closed it off and now it's just a one level nightclub. This is the Beauty's Nightclub and like I said, it's located here on deck two in the aft of the ship and it's all brand new, so come check that out. And then exiting the nightclub, we are finding ourselves in the Alchemy Bar area. And this is one of the more popular areas of the ship, especially in the evening. Folks like to come to the Alchemy Bar and hang out. They also have a little stage over here where they do have live music every night. But the Alchemy Bar is a staple of Carnival cruise ships, big and small. Everyone likes to hang out at the Alchemy Bar. And now we'll continue our tour, walking forward from Alchemy Bar toward the main atrium here on board the ship. And another new feature after the renovation to the ship has been Dream Studio. Uh, this is, of course, where you can come and schedule a uh, photo shoot essentially if you want your own personalized photo shoot on the ship this is the new location for that newly renovated it's right here inside of the main atrium and the main atrium features uh, a dance floor out here there's also a bar over there 
Um, you can come and get some drinks and hang out. They also have the glass elevators, so you can people watch and wave to the people going up and down in the elevators. The cool thing about the atrium is it is one that opens all the way up, all the way to, well, that glass funnel at the very top, which we'll see more of later. But uh, you're actually looking out the funnel or the well tail when you look all the way up this atrium, which is very cool. And then across the atrium over here, you have a couple of important places, a couple of important stops that folks like to make. The first being the guest services desk here. So if you ever have questions or needs that you need guest services to work on, that's located right here in the atrium. You also have stairs that go up to deck three. And then right here beside the guest services desk is the Carnival Adventures desk. Carnival Adventures is of course where you're gonna to come to book your short excursions. Uh, if you have any questions about maybe excursions you've booked before your trip, they're gonna be able to help you out here. Uh, if you have to cancel tours, anything like that pertaining to excursions you've booked with Carnival, this is the place to get that assistance. Now we're gonna cross the deck and go over here to the starboard side of deck two. And this is the location of Banzai Sushi. And Banzai Sushi is, well, the sushi restaurant here on board the ship and a lot of Carnival ships. Uh, this is its location on deck two, just beside the main atrium. And this is additional cost. It is uh, one of the specialty dining opportunities here on board the ship. And now leaving Banzai, we're gonna continue walking for the forward of the ship. They do have a screen right here just off the atrium if you'd like to see where we're at, where we're going, how fast we're going, etc. Uh, this is the place to do that. I love this screen. I always stop and see where we're selling at. You can see right now our pen is located up there in Norway. And now continuing from the atrium on deck two toward the forward of the ship, we're going to enter the Winner's Club Casino. This is the only casino on board the ship, but it's an extensive casino, which goes from the port side all the way to the starboard side on deck two. Just forward of the casino, there is a little cabinet here that has plenty of books uh, and game board games so if you're someone who likes to play board games or read a book you can take these books and read them throughout the cruise they do ask that you bring them back or replace it with another book and a lot of these books are new I looked at them last night looks like Carnival may have supplied a lot of these books um, there weren't anything or any authors that I recognized but uh, they do have brand new books here it seems like that the cruise line has put here probably in conjunction with the renovation that they just did but this is the library here it is on deck two, just north or forward of the casino. And then you see there's more seating here on deck two. This is kind of like the hub or the heart of deck two. And they do have a stairwell here that goes up to deck three, which is just right up there. And there's several venues right above us. They also have the Heroes Tribute Bar. This is one of the new, newly renovated, I should say, uh, locations on board the ship. This used to be the uh, Sky Bar, the sports bar, but it is now Heroes, and uh, they do have plenty of screens in here, so if you like to watch sports, this could be a bar for you, but plenty of seating in here, and like I said, they have recently renovated it, so now it does have that Heroes Tribute Bar theming as well. And there is an entrance, I should say. Uh, if you want to walk into the casino, you can actually enter it from right over there, that door on the other side of the room. But we're going to go back out because right next door, talk about venues, right next door from Heroes is one of the most popular venues on the ship or any carnival ship. This is Red Frog Pub. And Red Frog Pub, they do have a location for live music and they do utilize this and have live music every evening. But they also have the bar here. Plenty of places to sit. This is very uh, Caribbean themed bar in here. They have uh, this, uh, this isn't pool table. I don't know what this is, but they have this game you can play. Uh, they also have uh, cornhole, so you can toss some cornhole there. Uh, they also have foosball there. So plenty of things to enjoy here inside Red Frog Pub. Good place to hang out. This place is always packed too in the evenings. This is the place for people to come. Last night they were having karaoke right over there. So, uh, yeah, come hang out in the Red Frog Pub. Uh, it's one of the more popular locations on board the ship that I've noticed so far. Right here beside the Red Frog Pub uh, is a popular venue for the morning because it's the location you can come and get your coffee. This is the coffee bar. And they serve specialty coffees. They do cost additional. They also have a selection of different juices, energy drinks, sparkling water, basically anything you... Uh, might find yourself wanting or craving throughout the cruise. I think they even have milkshakes here. 
Uh, yeah, they do. They have milkshakes, and then they have this glass case over here. Nothing's in it now because they're closed, but they have cupcakes and cookies and things. Those are additional costs. You'd have to pay extra for those. They are not free, so just keep that in mind. And then right beside the coffee bar, we have the Carnival Adventure Shop. This is a new shop. This is uh, another result of the renovation that just happened on the Pride. They added this shop, and this is where you can get swimwear, swim shoes, you know, if you need um, any type of SPF or anything like that. They also do have a couple of different locations for ATMs here on board. They had one here. We're in the front now, the forward of Deck 2. They also had one back in the casino, so just keep that in mind if you're someone who needs ATM when you're on the ship. So now on deck three forward in the very front of the ship, and this is the elevator bank and stairwell here. And then we're gonna come to port side of that. And this is gonna be one of the entrances to Taj Mahal Theater. This is sort of the middle level of seating inside the theater. And then right beside this, you see the entrance to the Sunset Garden. And the Sunset Garden is actually an inside promenade on the ship. And in addition to all the seating inside here, right beside these nice porthole windows with views off of the very front of the ship, this deck also wraps all the way around in the front and offers access up to a deck higher to the cove. And that's on deck four and the cove is uh, the location on board, I believe that's for like um, some of the teenagers and older kids. That's their like exclusive club. So that's the entrance for that here all the way forward on deck three. And then on the other side here, you see an entrance up to Circle C, which is the kids club. So if you're looking for those, they're all the way forward on deck three. And then you take the stairwell up to deck four. Uh, so deck four, all the way forward, Circle C, the Cove, all the kids clubs and areas here on board the ship. But you can see how the Sunset Garden wraps all the way around the front of Deck 3, which is nice. It's actually hidden away quite well. And they do have all this seating in here. There's a lot of places to sit. There's also these little trees. Of course, all the artwork that they have in here. I think it's a really nice place to come hang out if you're someone who likes to read, to get a good vantage point out the window, and then just enjoy the day. And the cool thing about the Sunset Garden, I've remarked, that it should be called the Secret Garden, because I don't think a lot of people know about it. So. There's not been that many people in here so far throughout the cruise. So uh, if you want to come hang out somewhere quiet and enjoy just some relaxing time, check out the Sunset Garden all the way forward on Deck 3. So now leaving the Sunset Garden and Taj Mahal Theater here on Deck 3, you'll notice that there is a door right here that takes you out to the outside deck. This is the outdoor promenade on Deck 3. And the cool thing about it is, is it wraps all the way around the back of the ship. So we're in the front now. I could actually start walking all the way toward the aft of the ship, around the back of the ship, and then end up on the other side of deck three over there on that side of the promenade. So that's really cool. I will actually walk over here because there's something else I wanted to show you all the way forward on deck three. And that's going to be the warehouse. And the warehouse is the arcade here on board the Carnival Pride. And they have all sorts of games in here and different activities of course that are very popular with the kids and so now continuing our tour of deck three we're going to start in the forward of the ship now and start walking toward the middle of the ship and you can see they have a lot of art on the carnival pride but a lot of really nice places to sit and relax in the evenings. Uh, you can see that the decor, uh, this ship came out in the early 2000s. So you can see uh, the decor really gives that away, but they've kept it up tremendously and it looks very nice. If we come around here, you're gonna see another entrance to the warehouse arcade, which is what we just saw. And then you see this stairwell that actually heads down to deck two down below. And then just beside this, stairwell is the entrance to the ivory bar the ivory bar is the piano bar here on board the ship and each evening they do have a piano host piano player who comes out and plays music usually after the hours of 10 p.m until later into the night but you can see all of the seating that they have available here inside of the ivory bar
Now continuing aft from the ivory bar, we're gonna run into the Vio Venito. The Vio Venito is the location of the carnival shops here on board the Pride. First of which being Cherry on Top. Cherry on Top is the candy shop here on board the ship and most all carnival ships. You also have a general merchandise shop, a jewelry shop. There's a hip fish with beauty and fragrances. There's an Effie location here on my right. And the cool thing about it is during the renovation that the Pride recently underwent, all of these things were renovated. So there's new flooring in the shops, there's new paint. Uh, they look like they could be shops on a brand new ship. And of course, all the shops are painted white on the outsides. Uh, really, really nice. I really like the cool aesthetic. Now we're coming to the middle of the ship here on deck three. You see the stairwell and elevator bank here over on our right. And another entrance to that promenade there on the left. But now we're going to enter the photo gallery here on board. So if you like getting your photos taken, this is the place you can come uh, and find your photos and buy your photos. Also photo packages and things like that can be purchased here. This is also open to the atrium. So this is the main atrium down on deck two. But uh, if you're just someone who likes to watch what's going on down there, then this is a good place to do it from deck three up here. You also notice that there are stairs here to take you down to deck two. So if you decide you want to join in on the fun, you go down there and dance, you can do that from deck three. And then of course you see more photos over there as the photo gallery wraps around this midsection of deck three. So now we're gonna continue our adventure to the aft on deck three. We're gonna come by the Pixels Gallery. This is the main desk here. This is be where you purchase your photos or if you have any questions, if you're VIFP and wanna pick up your VIFP gift, this is the place that you do that, right here at the Pixels Photo Gallery. And now we're gonna exit that and head into Raphael's Lounge, which is uh, one of the bigger lounges here on board the ship and it's located here on the aft of deck three. You can see there is uh, a lot of seating back here. There's also a piano for music. And then right beside it, the doors are closed right now. And you see the sign saying Art Auction. This is actually the conference space on board the Pride. However, it is closed right now, but this is where they have the Park West Gallery, this cruise. So if you're someone who likes art, if you like to look at art, then this is where you can come and uh, see it here on board Carnival Pride. And now moving to the very aft of the ship on deck three, we're gonna pass the elevator bank and stairwells to enter the Normandy restaurant. The Normandy restaurant being the main dining room, the one and only main dining room here on board the ship. And on this cruise, deck three is being utilized for my time dining or any time dining, while deck two down below, since it is a two level dining room, is being used for a sign dining so depending on what dining you have you either be up here on deck three or down below on deck two uh, and it's really cool because deck three is actually open to look down over deck two you can see that space there in the middle that looks down over the dining room on deck two which is really nice so now we're here on deck nine deck nine is lido deck and in the very forward of deck nine is the cloud nine spa and the cloud nine spa of course is the spa here on board the ship and you can see this is the check-in reception area and then they have the treatment rooms back down this way. We're not going to go any further because we want to respect folks' privacy as they're getting their spa treatments and stuff. But this is the Cloud Nine Spa here on Deck Nine Forward. And on the other side of Deck Nine, this is the salon portion of Cloud Nine. So you can see they have all sorts of uh, spa services, salon services in here. You can get hair cuts and treatments and all sorts of things in here. They also have a place for nails in here as well. And then you can see toward the back there is uh, more treatment rooms. It's also the fitness center back here as well. So on the very forward of Deck 9 is the fitness center. And they have a lot of stuff. It's actually a multi-level fitness center. You can see you can go up the stairs there and they have more machines. So that's pretty cool. And it's all under this open glass dome from above. You can see they have a lot of different machines in here. A lot of different workout options. And it all overlooks the very front of the ship here on deck nine. So a very large and nice fitness center here on board Carnival Pride. When you exit the fitness center, you're actually gonna be let out back into the main spa area here on the ship. There are also men and women locker rooms 
here in the spa area as well. Now just outside of the Cloud9 spa area here, on deck nine forward, now we're gonna start to head for the middle of the ship onto the main pool deck. Uh, and here on the main pool deck, you can see they do have ping pong tables. Uh, here in the forward portion of the ship, they have plenty of loungers to sit. They also have a pool. Now notice that this pool is exposed. There's no covering over this pool. There's also a hot tub here. And then we're gonna make our way toward the middle of deck nine. And we're gonna find another pool back here. But first we come to the Red Frog Pub. Uh, this is uh, one of the locations here on the Lido deck where you can come and get drinks. Across the way there, here on the other side, we'll actually just walk over there toward it. Um, this is actually where you're gonna find the Blue Iguana Cantina. It's another bar here on the Lido deck. And we are in port now, it's in the morning hour, so these bars are closed right now. And then right here you have another main pool. So there are actually two main pools right here on the Lido deck. And the cool thing about this one is, you see there is this retractable roof. So it is essentially covered and they actually do warm it in here. It's heated in here. Uh, we are sailing in Norway this cruise. And uh, this is a cool place to come in the evening and uh, hang out because it is heated, but you can still sort of feel like you're outside a little bit. They do usually keep at least a portion of the roof open as you can see back there. but. Uh, yes, two main pools here on the Lido deck. They also have the big screen here. This is Carnival's uh, theater. Carnival does the seaside theater where they show movies in the evening, sometimes two or three movies a night. And of course you have the loungers sitting here where you can sit and enjoy the movie. And then flanking both sides of the Lido deck here are two staples eateries on board any Carnival ship. This is the Blue Iguana Cantina. And the Blue Iguana Cantina is where you can come and get tacos and burritos they have breakfast burritos uh, and then they have a toppings and salsa bar right here and then let's scramble across Toledo now over here to the starboard side of the ship which is another staple of carnivals and that is guys burger joint guys burger joint of course notorious for those delicious burgers that they serve every day from noon to 6 p.m. Uh, these are all included in the cost of your cruise, so you pay no extra for this. Same thing for Blue Iguana, which we just saw over there with the tacos and burritos. And then of course they have the toppings bar here with all sorts of delicious toppings uh, for you to put on your burger. I also didn't mention, because we sort of soared past it, but they do have drink machines just here beside Guy's Burger. There's another one over there you can see uh, beside Blue Iguana as well, but there are drink machines here where you can get drinks so you don't have to worry about going too far once you've got your burger or whatever. Um, but they have uh, all the juices and water here, cups, and then they do have an ice cream and frozen yogurt machine right here on the Lido deck. So you don't have to go far from your beach chair by the pool to get a drink or to get your soft serve ice cream. And just wanted to show you there's also another soft serve ice cream machine right here beside Guy's Burger. Uh, these two right here. Toward the aft of the ship, from the main portion of Lido deck, we're going to come into the stairwell for the Lido deck. This is the mid stairwell. And the cool thing about the mid stairwell, no matter where you're at on the ship, is that it all opens up to the main atrium. They have these glass elevators that you can see in the atrium uh, that you can take from pretty much anywhere in the middle of the ship. And even here inside the Lido buffet, which is where we are now, you can actually see uh, there's a great place to look down into the atrium. You can actually see all the way down there to deck two, uh, the very bottom uh, of this open atrium. And you can look up to the top and see into the steakhouse and under the glass dome of the well tail, which is pretty cool. So now we are in the main Lido buffet. This is called the Mermaid's Grill. And of course they have all the various stations. They have chopsticks. <laughs> Now exiting the Mermaid Grill Lido Buffet area, we're actually going to enter the Serenity Deck. And Serenity Deck is only for those guests ages 21 years and older. This is a nice place to come and relax. They have all sorts of different chairs and uh, seating back here. It's on the very aft of Deck 9. And in terms of uh, Serenity Decks on other ships that I've been on, other even bigger Carnival ships, I do think this is a, a very nice size Serenity Deck. There is a lot of space out here. And uh, just because this cruise isn't a very warm cruise, there's been plenty of places to sit. Uh, plenty of these loungers and clamshells have been open all cruise long. 
And also a part of the Serenity area is a pool and a hot tub, and of course those are adults only. It's also be a good place to come and get really good views, because as I said, it is located here on the very aft of the ship. So now from the Serenity area here on deck nine, we're gonna take the stairwell up to deck 10, remaining in the aft of the ship. This is the sun deck on board the Carnival Pride, and this is a nice deck if you like to walk or jog because you can actually walk all the way around deck 10, uh, the entirety of deck 10, all the way to the front, from the back, which makes it a beautiful place to come. I like to come out here at Selaway, we're leaving port and walk and just take in the views, like what we have this morning. But uh, this would also be a place if uh, you're maybe in the Caribbean sailing on a sea day, they're gonna have tons of loungers set up all the way down through here. So a good place to come and lay out in the sun. So now we're in the forward section of deck 10. You can see uh, to the right there, the Lido deck down below in that pole that I showed you that was toward the front of the Lido deck and not covered. And the cool thing about deck 10, as I mentioned, is you can walk all the way around it. So you can go all the way around to the front, which we'll do right now. Okay. So here we are in the very forward of deck 10, the sun deck. And I will say this is a cool place to come out because they do have these glass barriers here. It's a good place to come out uh, if you want a good view of Selaway, if you just want to be outside or see us arriving into a port, a good place to come because you are shielded. I'm going to come stand right up against it so you can see um, the top of this is now over my head. So you are shielded from the wind and elements here. It is tinted too, so you're not going to be extremely exposed to the sun if it's a bright sunny day, which, well, it's not today, but it is a nice place to come uh, here on deck 10 all the way forward. Also here on deck 10 toward the aft of the ship is Fahrenheit 555 Steakhouse. And this is, of course, the main steakhouse on board the ship and it's also one of the only specialty restaurants on board the carnival pride uh, but you see they do have a lot of seating in here a lot of tables they have tables over there about the window probably the coolest part about the fahrenheit 555 steakhouse is its location is it is located inside of the funnel or the well tail here on board the ship so you can actually look up and see this glass dome is actually part of that funnel so it's really cool and they of course have uh, some a lot of art in here this used to be called David's Steakhouse and during the renovation they actually uh, transformed it into Fahrenheit 555 of course Fahrenheit 555 is the steakhouse across the carnival fleet so from David's Steakhouse to Fahrenheit 555 however they didn't change much of the decor I understand they took away a piece of art or two but other than that they kept it largely the same and you can see another stairwell this is actually a glass staircase that leads from here down to the Lido deck the Lido deck is just right down there the mermaid grill and then right here we have a view down into the main atrium. There's also seating for the steakhouse up on deck 11. We won't go up there because it is closed. I don't think they're actively seating folks, at least this cruise up on deck 11, but there is additional seating up there. But yeah, this is Fahrenheit 555, the new Fahrenheit 555 here on board Carnival Pride, complete with uh, artwork of cows as you eat your beef. Um, and this is, you know, an open view of the kitchen that you can have as you sit here and enjoy your dinner. Now up the stairs to deck 11 in the very forward of the ship. This is a sports deck, and this is as high as you can come on the forward of Carnival Pride. And of course, this is where you're gonna find the mini golf on board the ship. They have uh, quite the expansive and in pretty good shape too. Of course, the Carnival Pride was just renovated last month, so this could have been some of the stuff that they updated. And just here beside the mini golf is the basketball court. So if you're someone who likes to play basketball on a cruise, they do have that here on the sports deck, 11 forward. Then continuing our walk around deck 11, we'll see more of the mini golf here in the front. A really nice mini golf. The only problem with this deck is it does get extremely windy, at least this cruise. We've had very strong winds and you always feel it when you're up here walking along deck 11. There's also a jogging track here. You can see the blue with the arrow. It's meant to be the jogging track. Um, I guess that's fine, but I would prefer to jog or walk down on deck 10 as it's just sometimes more people, but it's a longer track and you get to see more off the side of the ship. And now we're coming up to a pretty cool feature of 
the sports deck and also the sun deck on deck 10 too this glass elevator that they have here on carnival pride and i can't say i've ever seen anything quite like this on any cruise ship before this is also a good place to come for pictures if you're someone who likes to get pictures with the uh, well tail in the background the funnel back there this is a good place to come up here because it is the highest vantage point in the forward of the ship so we now jump to deck 11 in the aft of the ship and this is where you're going to find carnival waterworks which is uh, all the water slides that you see on the ship of course they have the green thunder which is the big one that actually drops you and then takes you out over the edge of the ship then they also have over here the twister slide this yellow one that's sort of on the back of the ship and then back behind me here they have the splash zone which is just some general uh, little splash elements and tiny slide for the younger kids so a nice little uh water park of sorts back here on the back of carnival pride with two water slides and we continue walking along deck 11 back toward the well tail where we're going to be able to go up and access deck 12. so this is the highest point on the carnival pride this is deck 12 the only portion of deck 12 but it's all here right beside the well tail and again it's a great vantage point if you're someone who likes to look off as you come into port you can see there's a really high point up here to look off and take pictures there's also an area that would be back down on deck 11 i guess technically or maybe this is an intermediate deck uh, where they set up a lot of loungers again if you had a bright sunny sea day a good place to come and sit but the cool thing about the well tail the funnel here on carnival pride is it's one of the glass domes so you can actually look down uh, if you're up here on deck 12 you can actually look down and see you see some tables down there that's actually looking into the fahrenheit 555 steakhouse which is under directly under the glass dome and further down there you could actually sit down into the atrium as well so i really like this i really think it's a cool funnel here i've never seen a funnel like this because i've never been on a spirit class ship which is what the carnival pride is but really cool here on deck 12. and that's going to do it for our tour around the beautiful carnival pride i hope you enjoyed it and if you did go down below give me a thumbs up also consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already have lots more cruise content on the way very soon thank you again for watching and i'll see you on the next adventure